everyone. I am at Yanchip National Park. Today I've gone for a bit of a trek, um, about 40, 45 minutes uh, north of Perth, and I've decided to head up to Yanchip National Park. So I'm just about to go book into the accommodation and might do a little bit of a walk around and have a look in the hotel room. So that's where I'm headed to now. But uh, in the meantime, waiting to um, actually get into the accommodation, went up to um, Yanchip Caves, the Crystal Cave, had a look around there, looks very cool. This would be Crystal Crave's entrance for group tours, I believe. <laughs> Very cool. But for now, I'm about to go head in into the accommodation at Yanchip Inn and we'll do a bit of a walk around and check out Yanchip Inn. Alrighty, see you soon. Okay, here we are, Yanchip Inn, room number 17. So far, so good. Shut the door, lock the door, put on the light. Alright, what do we have here? First of all, bathroom, looking pretty good. Toilet, nice and clean. Have a look, see how clean it is. Impressive, quite clean. Toilet paper, shower. Wow, shower's nice and clean as well. No complaints with that. Maybe except for the shower head, that looks like it's probably seen better days. Well, yeah, basin's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Overall, not too bad. How are we going for dust right up there? Yeah, that's all right, but really, that's okay. Well, it smells okay. It doesn't smell bad or anything. Uh, there must be more light in here somewhere. You would hope there would be. One light. There we go. So this here, I think it's got like a queen bed and then has also got uh, like bunk beds with it, which is pretty cool. So, oh, wow, this looks interesting. No idea what it's sort of. Oh dear, I'm in trouble if that is the air conditioning. Bed lamps, do they work? Put this backpack down and see what we can do. Okay, off to a great start there. Touch lamp, okay, that makes up for it. Well, music, volume, I doubt this works. Like a radio? Interesting. Well, everything looks relatively pretty clean. We got the AC up there. It must be a remote, maybe. Yeah, okay, see this. This is more like it. This is, explains it a lot better. So, that there, remote, air conditioning. Happy to have my little room at the Antrip Inn. So, yeah, it's quite spacious here. Yeah, there's enough room just to walk about. And as you can see here, plenty of space <laughs> for like three people to sit down and do their homework or whatever they want to do. TV, bit of an odd angle, it'd be a bit better if that TV was moved down here. So then it'd be directly lined up in front of the bed, which would be good, but hey, at least can't have everything perfect. Floor looks pretty good. It's being freshly vacuumed, no complaints. Uh, only thing is maybe the windows could do, with, definitely do 
with a little bit of a wash I think but that's not too bad and yeah and also the curtains look like they could probably do with a good wipe but overall not too bad I must say I'm quite impressed with the room for $185 Australian so you'll have to do the maths on that wherever you are so $185 Australian per night that's not too bad so yeah so this is where I shall be staying tonight very cool and shortly I uh, plan on going for a bit of a walk around uh, Lake Yanchip so, still need a bit of a haircut too don't I <laughs> this is Lake McNess in Yanchip National Park and just behind me is the Yanchip Inn so literally a stone throw away is the accommodation so basically accommodation up there swing around and the lake is right here absolutely very 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 beautiful down here got some ducks quack quack The drive here has definitely been worth it. So this place is just absolutely amazing. The lake behind me, very beautiful, tranquil, peaceful, calm, flat, and there's a good vibe around here. So I would definitely highly recommend um, heading down to Yanchip for a day trip, definitely. Yes, yet again, I am quietly stalking the kangaroos. These ones should be quite placid, not too intimidated if you go up to them close because I believe they have a lot of contact with people, these kangaroos, on a regular basis. So far they haven't ran off. Hello! Hello, how are you today? Having a good day? Having a feed? Getting into a bit of the grass? Well, there's plenty of it. Looks like there's a bit of a joey at the back there. Very placid creatures, kangaroos out here today. This one could possibly be the mother of the joey at the back, so she may be a bit more defensive very peaceful creatures today oh, there she goes or he she one of the two Hello. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mm, she's quite tall when she stands up. 
can see the pouch there. So I'll take it. That must be her baby. It's behind. a nice chocolate wallaby I'm gonna devour it Oh, this looks very cool. Possibly maybe a purchase in the future. Very good waterproof um, backpack. I like that the parrot or the turtle. Australian didgeridoo. I wonder what the price is. One of these. Two hundred and forty-two dollars for a didgeridoo. Well, this one here is a hundred and fifty-four dollars. And another one here, hundred and forty-two. No, oh, it looks like there's a bit of a another boardwalk just up around here. So I'm gonna walk up there and check that out. I think there may be some koalas up there actually. So if we're luckily lucky, we may see some koalas. Well, with a sign like that, <laughs> you'd hope that you'd see some koalas, wouldn't you? Uh, that's cool. Yet to see a koala anyway. But there's a bit of a crowd up there, so I might walk up there, see if I can see any koalas, which I'm yet to see. Yeah. 
So directly in front of me is the Yanchip Inn and it's a very lovely beautiful uh, hotel restaurant and they serve some delicious food there. So that's where I had my dinner last night and if we pan to the left just over there is some accommodation which I stayed at. So overall quite a very pleasant time. 